Thoracic surgeons treat lung cancer with surgery. So if cancer is at an early stage, uh, meaning that it has not spread outside the lung, we can usually go in and resect it, assuming that the patient tolerates surgery. Most of the time we're able to do that in a minimally invasive fashion with small incisions, uh, which means a faster recovery for the patient and less pain. Not only can we treat the cancer surgically um, by removing a portion uh, of a lobe, an entire lobe of the lung, or even an entire lung, we can also um, stage the cancer by removing lymph nodes and checking multiple lymph node stations in the chest, or we can do palliative procedures to resolve symptoms even if the cancer is not curable. So what I tell patients to expect after lung cancer surgery is about a six week recovery overall. Usually the first two weeks are the most challenging, getting over pain and getting used to the new breathing pattern that they uh, have to adapt to after a portion of their lung is removed. And then after that, the following four weeks are a slow recovery back to normal activities of daily living and work. For patients who have lungs that may not be entirely healthy going into lung surgery, it can be a little bit of steeper road to recovery. And I always caution patients that they may feel short of breath after having part of their lung removed, and they may need to go on oxygen temporarily after having part of their lung removed. Also, I tell patients that they might have some pain and discomfort, um, anything that would come along with having surgery elsewhere on the body. So mostly what I tell my patients about lung cancer surgery is that it's not what they think it is. Historically, it's got a pretty bad reputation as a very invasive surgery with a long recovery. The, the techniques that we have nowadays with minimally invasive and robotic lung resections, the recovery is much quicker. Patients do much better and we can get to these things earlier so that we can provide an excellent long-term outcome and survival.